Guys, Shardness Prime here doing another Metacom Toy Mafex action figure review. Today we're going to look at the black version of the Batman Hush from the Batman Hush comic series. And just for a little package comparison, you can see we have the first Batman Hush right there. And the package, well, the figure's obviously not inside, it's on display. But yeah, hopefully we see some differences between the two Batman. I know this comes with a deluxe base right over there. You can see Batman right down there, and then it says Batman Hush. And then on the back right over here, you can see some nice looking product shots. He does look a little bulkier than the one I already have, so I'm hoping they did bulk him up some. And then you can see the base right over there and the other accessories, and then on this side you can see Batman over there yeah i got batman on the top right there and no batman at the bottom you have to be 15 if you want this figure by the way all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and if you're trying to get your mafex figures you can do so big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> And here's the Batman out of the packaging, and not very different at all from the previous version. Honestly, the biggest difference for me with this one compared to the previous version, aside from the base, is the quality of the figure itself being a lot stronger than the previous version. I don't have to be so scared posing the figure around, but man, it's pretty much the same figure, just different paint scheme and it's a lot of fun and uh yeah let's get a close look at those accessories and we'll get a closer look again at the figure so i have everything pretty much in the tray still you can see what comes with the figure it's the same accessories that we'd gotten before the fisted hands are right over here and then you can see we get this nice long grapple sticking out right over there and you can see you get the same four batarangs that we'd seen before we get the same two head sculpts that we saw before and they look good just Genuinely not that different from the previous head sculpts that we'd gotten before. I am noticing though on the angry head We have a little bit more paint on the mouth right over there And you can see this one right here does not have the painted teeth or the painted mouth But this one has a painted mouth and painted teeth. Is that dust in the teeth right there? Yep, got that out of there real easy. So that does look really good to me. I do like that. And of course we have the standard Mafex stand right over here with the wider clamp. And then you also have this other clamp right here, the cradle clamp. Then you get the other stick that you could use. I haven't used these. I have a lot of Mafex stands that I use. These are the stands that I use most often over anything else. So I can leave that there. And then you can see we have this new Chrysler building. It's not an actual Chrysler building. Uh, statue or gargoyle but it reminds me of it and i think it looks really cool i love that we have three tones of color right over here so you can see some light blue over the gray which is over the gray plastic so that looks just really really awesome i do like this a lot so it's fun having this added base right here which is just like the newest thing of the whole purchase then you could plug a stand in there which is kind of tricky to do with some of them i don't know god see that's such a tight fit right there i think the stick or whatever is going to work better so be mindful you Using that. <laughs> wow, the rain is pouring hard, and this figure looks great. There are minor imperfections here with the paint and the black on the symbol. I mean, just very, very minor. I think this looks very clean overall. I love the shadowing on it. It's a great looking figure. Uh, comparing the gray right here to the blue version, you can see the blue version is a darker color gray. Uh, the symbol did come out a little bit cleaner on this one. And it is, it, oh, uh, it's the same symbol. I thought it was different for a second, but no. It's all the same sculpt and everything, and the pouch doesn't have any paint on it or anything like that. Now, on the other figure, you are getting a little bit more paint on it because the blue portions have the gray and black shadowing on it as well. But, you know, this is just a flat black color where you're seeing black on the figure. Uh, there's certain joints where it's not painted all the way through. Like you can see on the abs right there, that does brighten up as you pull back. And then you can see the legs right here look pretty good. So that's my only real complaint with the paint apps. You know, the back of the figure is painted, even though we have this humongous cape right here. And it is the same cape. It has four bendy wires in it. You get the one coming across all the way over here. And then you get one down here. And then you get another one right inside there. And then the last one on the edge. Would have been nice to have a middle one, you know. But at the same time, it's so big. You end up using stands to help prop it up and stuff if you're trying to get really dramatic poses with this cape. And I'm not 
not going to do a thorough articulation segment with this figure. It's the same as we'd seen before. I mean, Mafex just crushes it on their articulation, man. It's very fun to pose around and easy to maneuver. Uh, I, I love posing this thing. It, this is going to be my uh, just for funsies version, and this will be like stay on the shelf version right here. So to measure out the Batman, you can see he's a little over six and a half inches tall. And to measure out the space right here, it's only at about five inches across, and you're looking at about... Uh, two inches tall maybe. And then for your Mafex Batman Hush figure comparison, you can see the first blue version right there next to this black version. And I really do like them both. I it would go with this one if I had to pick only one. I'm curious to know which one you would go with if you had to pick only one, but I am just a sucker for the blue and gray. I, I love it, but this still looks awesome as well. And I did the same thing with my Dark Knight Returns Batmans. I have both the blue and gray and the black and gray versions. So here's another black and gray version next to this black and gray version. And then for another Batman Hush figure comparison with the black and gray colors, you can see we have the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys figure. And then here's a new Hush Batman figure next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, another repaint. Ah, another reuse. Well, I, I'm going to reuse my joke then, okay? Hey, check it out. Hey, uh, how, how did the bat cross the road? It cried over its parents' grave first. Uh, get, get it? Because your parents are dead. Ah! So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. I do appreciate it. As well as when you guys hit that subscribe button. That lets me know that you love me. Yeah, without that, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. And honestly, I do appreciate the subscribers and the viewers on this channel. So, thank you so much. And uh, this figure is pretty cool, but I think the people that are going to appreciate it the most are those that missed out on the blue version and wanted a Batman Hush figure from Mafex, and they had to get this one instead of the original blue version, which I don't know for sure if that has gone up in price in the aftermarket or not. I'm, I'm assuming so, but I don't know for sure. But this Batman right here is terribly fun to play around with. I really like it a lot. I just feel safer posing this one around as opposed to the blue one. I did have a little QC issue with that one, so this one's just a lot more fun to pose around for me, but other than that, it's the same figure. I do like having the base, so the base is pretty cool to have, so I do like that. I like the added paint detail, but not a whole lot of different, man, really. So, it's going to vary depending on the individual who's looking to pick one of these up, but, you know, my personal experience with this figure at the price point of around $100, I can't remember exactly how much it was. I think maybe a little over a hundred because it was a deluxe figure with the base and everything but i think it was around a hundred bucks i'm gonna give it a sud rating of i love it and i'd like to know what you guys think so be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest in action figure news you can find it all over at toynews.com and don't forget to stay in touch with me on social media via instagram twitter tiktok twitch and on whatnot and i will catch you guys later peace that's crispy Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.